you hold your breath, then you get the verification you were right, a sigh of relief. Not only a sigh of relief, a little vindication as well, because every time you pull that red flag and throw it, you could be costing your team a timeout. They go play action here on first down. And he's got it, Fedorowicz. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Seven yards to go on second down. Play clock winding down. They snap it at one. Now it's Osweiler. This is intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And here now come the Falcons. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan, and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. No surprise there, Jadevian Kleine with a tackle for loss. We all know how he became one of the most famous players in football, though, don't we? Remember? Oh, that one play. Yeah, that one big-time play was on highlights everywhere. They want to see more of that here in the NFL. Now Ryan on second down. He's going to look deep down the field. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. A big play there. Ryan to Jones. 49 yards. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Houston after this timeout. Now the offense lining up first and ten. On first and ten, it's Ryan. Hits his target, it's Taylor Gabriel. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the... Touchdown, Falcons! Julio Jones with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. So they've had two drives, and he's had the two receiving touchdowns. And how about a game plan where you decide to force feed or feature someone, and it works? First two drives, as you noted, end up in touchdown passes. I think they're going to keep going to him until a defense makes any kind of an adjustment. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And last year, that would have been a net gain of five on the return. This year, he stopped where he would have been if he had taken a knee, and that's at the 25. The Texans' offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about Hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking for the guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Again, it's Miller, and he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime.
So the offense dealing with a third and six. To throw is Osweiler. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends it. The screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. Here we go now. Three, Second and ten. It's Osweiler again. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's incomplete. He was looking to get it to his running back, Lamar Miller. And it's third down. Ten yards to go on third. Field left, field left. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. Three, Three, 19. To throw again is Osweiler. Surveying the field and finding Fedorowicz. And he'll be taken down, but not before right, getting this inside, this inside the 30. If post pattern is often equated as a change-up route, how about when you throw it to your big guy down the center of the field? Covered or not, you have great confidence he's going to come down with the football. And when he does, as we just saw, long gains often result. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. 26 yards on the pick up there. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal. And they're going to speed things up here. Here comes the D. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Jonathan Grimes taking it in. And the Texans have cut it to within a score. Yeah, yeah, you heard it, right? <laughs> exhale. The exhale. And I'm taking that from their bench because finally, right before the half, they find a way to get the ball in the end zone and get, get some points on the board. Maybe they can use that to kickstart them for the second half. Yeah, just to get something before going into the lockers. And now in the second half, they can just tighten. That's what they want to do. Tighten down everything they're doing, and it maybe explode at the right time. Here's Eric Weems now on the return. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. He's, he's got a man complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. Second and 10 now. Ryan hit, and he lost the football. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. play of the half. It's Ryan. Under pressure, they got him again. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game.
So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. He'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. And here comes the Texans now. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more.